Imagine standing in a factory so massive it could fit 1,700 football fields. Now picture a brand new electric car rolling off the assembly line every 30 seconds. Two cars a minute, over 100 cars an hour. All built, inspected, and ready to hit the road. This is the reality inside BYD's $12 billion super factory in China, the largest electric vehicle production base in the world. To put it in perspective, 30 seconds is barely enough time to boil an egg, brush your teeth, or scroll a short TikTok video. In that blink, a fully assembled high-tech vehicle, battery, doors, electronics, paint, the works, is completed. It's a pace so fast it makes even the most efficient car factories in the United States and Europe seem slow in comparison. But speed alone doesn't explain why this factory is making headlines. It's about scale, innovation, and people. 63,000 employees, families living on campus, a fully integrated supply chain, and a production rhythm that never stops. In this video, we're going inside BYD's super factory to uncover how one car every 30 seconds is not just a number, but a story of engineering, ambition, and strategy that is shaking the global automotive market. Let's start by looking back at how China went from experimenting with electric cars to dominating the industry worldwide. In 1995, China built its very first electric car. At the time, few people took it seriously. After all, the country was still figuring out conventional fuel vehicles, and electric cars seemed like a futuristic dream. Fast forward to 2008, and annual electric vehicle sales in China were barely 2,400 units, almost invisible compared to the global auto market. But then something remarkable happened. Over the next 15 years, China's electric vehicle industry exploded. By 2023, annual EV sales exceeded 7 million, making China the world's largest market for electric vehicles for seven consecutive years. This growth wasn't incremental, it was exponential, a 3,000-fold increase in just over a decade. China's rise didn't happen by chance. Government support, aggressive investment in research and infrastructure, and partnerships with local manufacturers fueled a rapid transformation. Suddenly, Chinese electric cars were no longer a small experiment. They became a global force, drawing attention from Europe, Asia, and the Americas. This meteoric rise sets the stage for BYD's super factory. From humble beginnings to global dominance, China's electric vehicle story explains why such a massive and efficient plant isn't just possible. It's necessary. Next, we'll meet the company at the center of this revolution, BYD. BYD is the company at the heart of China's electric vehicle boom, and its growth is nothing short of staggering. In 2024, BYD reported annual revenue of over $107 billion, surpassing Tesla's $97.7 billion in the same period. In the first half of 2025 alone, BYD exported 470,000 new energy vehicles, a year-on-year -year increase of 132%. These numbers show that BYD isn't just big, it's growing faster than most of its global competitors. What makes BYD remarkable is its combination of scale and agility. While it's a massive industrial powerhouse, it can also respond quickly to market demands, expand production, and invest in new technologies at a speed few others can match. Its models are reaching families around the world from Europe to Southeast Asia, and its reputation is built on affordable, reliable vehicles that appeal to ordinary consumers as much as to tech enthusiasts. In short, BYD is both a giant and a nimble player, the perfect company to pull off the ambitious feat of producing one car every 30 seconds. Its scale, financial muscle, and global ambitions set the stage for the super factory we'll explore next. The BYD Super Factory is located in Yunga, a city in central China chosen for its strategic advantages. Spanning more than 3,000 acres, roughly 1,700 football fields, this massive complex isn't just about space, it's about connectivity. Highways, railways, and an international airport nearby make it easy to transport vehicles and components quickly, both within China and to overseas markets. Construction began in 2021, and by 2025, phases one through three were completed and operational, primarily producing new energy vehicles. Plans for phases four to eight include a chip factory and further expansion, eventually creating one of the largest electric vehicle production bases in the world. The nearby Young International Airport, now over 92% complete, will further improve logistics, cutting transportation costs by at least 25%. 
This location was also selected for its rich natural resources. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements are all found nearby, allowing BYD to source key battery materials close to the factory. By integrating mining and processing facilities, BYD gains both efficiency and cost advantages, reducing reliance on global supply chains. Junga isn't just a factory location, it's a hub where logistics, resources, and infrastructure converge. This strategic positioning lays the foundation for the incredible production efficiency we'll explore in the next section, the anatomy of automation inside BYD's super factory. Inside BYD's super factory, the assembly line is a perfectly choreographed ballet of machines and technology. There are 16 fully automated production lines running around the clock, each handling a critical part of vehicle construction with precision. It all begins in the stamping workshop, where industrial robots press metal plates into the shapes needed for chassis and body components. These parts are then transported automatically to the next station where high-precision blue light inspection systems measure every piece for even the smallest deviation. A tiny error here could affect the entire vehicle later. Next comes the welding workshop. Hundreds of robot arms join the pieces into a complete body frame, which is temporarily stored in a three-dimensional automated warehouse until it's ready for painting. Before painting, the vehicle undergoes electro-coating, a process that applies a protective primer to prevent rust and corrosion, and it only takes three seconds per car. After coating, robots apply sealant, and the vehicle moves to final assembly. Thousands of components, glass, chassis parts, electronic modules, and the battery system are installed with meticulous accuracy. The battery installation is especially critical. Even a slight misalignment can impact performance. Finally, the car passes through the OK line, a rigorous static inspection of its appearance, electronics, and systems before it leaves the factory. Every stage is designed for speed and precision. When all lines operate simultaneously, a brand new electric vehicle is completed every 30 seconds. This is the invisible choreography that makes BYD's production miracle possible. The claim that BYD produces one car every 30 seconds sounds impressive, but let's put it into perspective with some simple math. If a car rolls off the line every 30 seconds, that means two cars are completed every minute. Multiply that by 60 minutes, and 120 cars are produced every hour. Keep the factory running 24 hours a day, and that's 2,880 cars each day. Stretch that across an entire year and the total reaches roughly 1,051,200 cars, just over 1 million vehicles annually. This aligns perfectly with BYD's stated production capacity for the Junga Superfactory. In other words, the one car every 30 seconds isn't just a catchy marketing line. It represents a truly staggering level of industrial output. To visualize it, imagine a car leaving the factory every half minute, continuously, day and night, for a whole year. That's a fleet larger than the entire car ownership in some small countries rolling off one single production line. This math also highlights why automation, logistics, and supply chains must work flawlessly. Even a small delay could ripple into thousands of vehicles not produced. Understanding this scale prepares us to see the human side of BYD's operations. Because behind these machines are tens of thousands of people who keep the factory running smoothly, living, working, and supporting each other every day. While BYD's super factory is a marvel of machines and automation, people are at the heart of its success. Around 63,000 employees work on site, and many of them bring their families, creating a fully functioning community inside the factory complex. Dormitories, schools, clinics, gyms, and parks are all part of the campus, allowing workers to live, learn, and relax without long commutes. This setup isn't just convenient, it cultivates loyalty and stability. Employees can focus on their work knowing their families are nearby and that their daily lives are supported. Imagine finishing a shift and being able to walk just a few steps to your home, your child's school, or a gym to unwind. That sense of belonging reduces turnover and builds a dedicated workforce, something rare even in the world's most advanced factories. The community also reinforces culture and identity. Cafeterias, shared recreational spaces, and events encourage collaboration and team spirit. Workers become part of something bigger than a job. They're part of an industrial ecosystem that links their lives directly to the factory's success. This human side complements the technical side of BYD's super factory. High-tech robots produce cars at record speeds, but the dedication, skill, and stability of thousands of people ensure those machines run smoothly every day. BYD's production speed isn't just about robots. 
It's also about controlling the materials and components that go into each vehicle. The Super Factory includes a Phase 4 chip facility, producing automotive-grade chips like IGBT and MCU, covering roughly 90% of the company's chip demand. This means BYD doesn't have to rely heavily on global suppliers, reducing the risk of delays that have disrupted other automakers. The factory's location near rich mineral resources adds another layer of control. Lithium, cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements, essential for battery production, are mined, processed, and refined close to the plant. By integrating mining and battery material processing into the operation, BYD lowers costs and ensures a stable supply of key components. Think of it like a bakery that grows its own wheat, mills the flour, and makes its own chocolate. Every ingredient is under control, so the factory can operate without waiting for shipments or worrying about shortages. This vertical integration, combined with automation, is a key reason BYD can maintain the pace of producing one car every 30 seconds. Controlling both materials and manufacturing gives BYD a strategic advantage over competitors. It allows the company to respond quickly to demand changes and keep costs predictable, making its vehicles competitive both in China and overseas. Even with cutting-edge factories and vertical integration, BYD operates in a world of geopolitical challenges. In September 2024, the United States imposed a 100% tariff on Chinese electric vehicles, and the Commerce Department proposed bans on smart-connected vehicle software and hardware from China, citing national security concerns. These measures were designed to slow BYD's rapid global expansion and protect American automakers. But BYD didn't falter. Instead, the company adapted and continued growing, especially in Europe and Southeast Asia. By May 2025, monthly sales in 16 European countries reached 12,363 units, surpassing Tesla's 12,264 for the first time and maintaining that lead for two consecutive months. Hybrid vehicle registrations also climbed, showing that consumers are increasingly choosing BYD for affordability, reliability, and value. This story illustrates a key point. Global politics can create obstacles, but they don't necessarily stop innovation. BYD's resilience shows that a company with strong supply chains, production capacity, and strategic planning can withstand pressure while continuing to expand in the global market. BYD isn't just focusing on China. It's building a worldwide presence. In Europe, the company is investing $1.3 billion to construct a new factory in Hungary, targeting the entire European market with both electric and hybrid vehicles. In South America, Brazil has become a key focus, with a $600 million investment to build a production complex that includes three industrial plants, one for chassis production, for buses and trucks, another for passenger vehicles, and a third for processing lithium iron phosphate battery materials. The Brazilian complex alone is expected to produce around 150,000 vehicles annually, and impressively, BYD completed the first car just 15 months after breaking ground. This speed really demonstrates the company's global agility and its ability to quickly bring new production capacity online. These international moves are strategic. They reduce shipping times and costs, localize production to meet regional demand, and create resilience against tariffs or supply chain disruptions. The Yunga Superfactory isn't an isolated hub. It's part of a global network of BYD facilities, enabling the company to compete directly with established automakers on multiple continents. One of BYD's defining strengths is speed, not just in car production, but in building factories and scaling operations. Take the Brazil production complex, for example. From breaking ground to rolling the first car off the line, it took only 15 months. In an industry where constructing a large automotive plant can take three to five years, this is extraordinary. Speed gives BYD a critical advantage. It allows the company to seize market opportunities quickly, adapt to changing demand, and outpace competitors who move more slowly. The combination of rapid factory construction, highly automated production, and vertical integration ensures that BYD isn't just producing vehicles efficiently, it's shaping global EV markets in real time. Think of it like a chess player who doesn't just think several moves ahead, but moves multiple pieces at once with precision. BYD's ability to plan, execute, and scale faster than rivals means it can enter new markets, secure resources, and capture customers before others even finish their strategy. As impressive as BYD's super factory is, it raises important questions that viewers naturally ask. What about environmental impact, labor conditions, 
resource sustainability, and what are the true costs behind such rapid expansion? Starting with the environment, battery production relies on lithium, cobalt, nickel, and rare earth minerals, materials that must be mined and processed. While BYD integrates mining and refining near the factory to reduce transportation emissions, mining itself can disrupt ecosystems and use large amounts of water. The company has made efforts to implement reclamation programs and cleaner processing techniques, but these challenges remain inherent to large-scale EV production. Labor and ethics are another consideration. Housing 63,000 employees and their families on site creates a stable, loyal workforce, but it also concentrates human activity into a single area. Ensuring fair labor practices, workplace safety, and quality of life are critical. BYD's provision of dormitories, schools, clinics, and recreation shows proactive planning, but independent audits or expert insights could help verify conditions. Battery recycling and end-of-life vehicle management are also key for sustainability. As BYD produces over a million cars annually, recycling programs for lithium-ion batteries and other components are essential to prevent environmental harm and reclaim valuable materials. Finally, government subsidies and support play a role in BYD's success. Strategic agreements with the Jungao Municipal Government, research funding, and policy support have reduced costs and risks for the company. While this accelerates growth, it also raises questions about fairness and global competition. By addressing these questions openly, the story of BYD becomes balanced. It's a tale of incredible industrial achievement, but one that comes with responsibilities to workers, communities, and the environment. Recognizing both the achievements and the challenges makes the narrative credible and engaging. The story of BYD's Superfactory is more than a tale of speed and scale. It's a window into the future of mobility, industrial power, and global strategy. Producing one car every 30 seconds isn't just an impressive statistic. It's a statement about what's possible when technology, planning, and human dedication come together on a massive scale. Think about it. A million cars a year coming from a single factory. That level of output changes the dynamics of the global electric vehicle market. BYD isn't just meeting domestic demand, it's shaping international competition. Its vehicles are now in Europe, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and beyond, proving that a company can rise from a local manufacturer to a global force in just a decade. But this story isn't just about numbers, it's also about people. 63,000 employees and their families living in a self-sustaining community, ensuring that speed and efficiency don't come at the expense of stability or human connection. The factory also represents strategic thinking. Integrating mining, battery production, and chip manufacturing gives BYD a control over the supply chain that few competitors can match. Finally, it signals a larger global trend. Countries and companies that combine innovation, infrastructure, and strategy will dominate the industries of tomorrow. BYD's super factory is a blueprint for the future of industrial design, showing that automation and human ingenuity can coexist and even amplify each other. For you, the viewer, the takeaways are clear. Scale is transformative. One factory can influence the global EV market. Strategy is everything. Vertical integration, logistics, and speed create a competitive edge. People matter. Even the most automated operations rely on skilled, dedicated human support. If you want to dive deeper, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to follow our exclusive behind-the-scenes content. Next, we'll explore how battery minerals are reshaping politics affecting every electric vehicle on the road. BYD's factory is more than cars. It's a glimpse of the industrial and human future unfolding right now.